<laughs> What's up people so much has gone on in the last couple of days I feel like I just want to like talk to you guys, you know my girlfriend's at work I can pull up the camera and start recording. So what do we what do you want to talk about? What do you want to talk about? Well, I'll tell you what I want to talk about It's gonna be chase and American Express and also Capital One and how I'm kind of working them to get myself some free travel for 2024 I got some crazy freaking crazy vacations coming up. I'm talking, we're going to Emirates business class, dude, coming up here in like a month or so. I'm flying all the way to Milan. It's going to be super fun. I got some Hyatt redemptions. I got all kinds of awesome stuff. Let's just talk about it because I want to share with you guys. All right, let's get into it. Okay. So this is going to be a strategy kind of video. What is it like? early July right now. So we're pretty, pretty good at the end of the year right now. I, I kind of want to talk about a little bit like, you know, what I've been doing. Okay. Cause it'll help you understand what's going on. Let's just talk about chase. I like chase the most. I've kind of been working in their ecosystem pretty hard in 2024. It's been sick. I got the chase bifecta. I don't have the freedom flexed a little weird. I know, but I've been rocking that chase Sapphire reserve extremely tough, dude. I'm telling you, I have just absolutely loved that card. The 1.5 cents per point is just a killer redemption. The portal does not seem to be price inflated. I don't know. Maybe I'm lucky. And I just overall really like the credits. The card's super solid. I like it a lot. And let me tell you a little bit about what I've done with the card. All right. Okay. Let's talk about redemptions. I think redemptions are pretty solid. Uh, yeah, I've done a few of them now. And uh, I don't know about you, but Chase and Hyatt have this really awesome situation ship going on, and I'm taking fully advantage of that. I love using Hyatt. It's super fun. It's super nice. Uh, what is that? 2.5 cents per point average, something a lot, something along those lines. I haven't done the math. You kind of don't need to. You're going to be scoring with Hyatt anyway. So I've been having no shortage of Hyatt stuff. I got. I, I don't know about you, but I, I booked a couple of things, and uh, you're going to see at the later at the end of this month what's going on here. I'm not going to tell you exactly what's going on, but yeah, dude, I'm staying in some Hyatt properties. It's going to be super chill. I'm really excited. I'm going to Italy. We're going to be doing that. It's going to be super nice. You know what I'm talking about? I'm going to be chilling on the beach, and I'm not talking like, you know, a crusty ass beach. I'm talking a really nice Mediterranean kind of situation and as well as up in the freaking lakes, dude, I'm going to be staying way up in the Lake Como region. It's going to be delicious. I can't wait to sit back, relax and actually decompress from my crazy life that somehow I put myself into, but Hey, it's going to be okay. It's going to be nice. And Hyatt is going to be a big part of that game. Another insanely fun part about the game is having a family on the other side of the country. Yes. We got to visit them. Of course, we got to take care of your family. You know what I'm saying? If you are far away from your people, you got to get to them and you got to visit them. Well, not too many times, but for me, I got to go a couple times a year, maybe a few times. And I use my chase points to fly across the country because Turkish airlines. Yeah, dude. That Turkish Airlines Miles and Smiles Redemption that you used to be able to do with United uh, of award availability at 7,500 miles uh, transfers from Capital One was super fun, but it's kind of ended, okay? It's, it's, bu it's bumped up to 10,000 Turkish Airlines Miles and Smiles Miles if you want to book United award availability. This could be good. It could be bad. Um, for me, my use case, I sometimes use it. Like I'll go ahead and go on United and just kind of check, make sure I can try to beat 1.5 cents per point if I'm trying to beat it. But sometimes I just kind of don't even care to check anymore. I just find that I'm not able to beat 1.5 cents per point with the United award availability transferred from Turkish Airlines Miles and Smiles and booked with Turkish Airlines Miles and Smiles. So this wonderful redemption is something you can do with your Capital One Miles, which I don't really use anymore. Okay, we're going to get into that in a sec. We're going to get into it. So I've been mostly flying domestic booked in the chase portal for 1.5 cents per point. I'm going to Seattle. I'm going to there. I'm going to here. It works really well for me. And I just find that that's just the best way to get my chase value as well as Hyatt. So, okay. Um, yeah, we could talk about chase a little bit more because now I have been draining my chase points pretty frequently. So I've been flying, you know, a decent amount of a decent amount of the year. Okay. I feel like I can, I I'm at that point where, you know, you kind of get locked into like what your freaking strategy is. And I think that chase 1.5 cents per point redemption is, is calling my name. It's my thing. And so I need to get back under chase 524. And the way I'm going to do this is unfortunately, I'm going to have to wait till December. I don't know about you, but I'm at 524. You might be over. Ugh. I'm sorry for you, man. But if you can get back down to Chase 524, low, well, sorry, under Chase 524, then you should be fine. And I'm going to go for the ink cards because look at this, guys. Look at this. This is a business. <laughs> cool. I know, isn't it? It makes a little bit of money. Kind of. Not really. 
but I count it as my business. I could do furniture flipping though. I do a lot of that. But anyway, I'm gonna go for the Chase Inc. Unlimited or the Chase Inc. Cash. Again, I have one of them and I'm just gonna get the other. And I want that 90K bonus, but I have to wait until December to get it. So I'm just gonna keep using up all my Chase points, you know, keep on going. I'm not really worried about spending Chase points. I'm gonna spend them, spend them, spend them. And if you guys are willing to help me out, go ahead and sign up with one of the credit cards in the link in the description and I can somehow keep going with this. It's really nice that it works like that. But the whole entire game is not just about Chase. I don't wanna be like a Chase fanboy because you can really get out into some new realms if you try some new things. And one of these new things is membership awards points. I tried that last year. I tried to figure out what's going on. I earned a lot of them. I earned hundreds of thousands of membership awards points. I wanna thank you because a lot of them were referrals. But some of them were some crazy sign-up bonuses, like the 150K platinum sign-up bonus, which is now 175K. It's pretty freaking insane, dude. As well as the 90K gold. Of course, you got to get that. Link in the description if you love the gold card. We all do. I don't know why everyone's canceling it. You want me to make a video and talk about it? I think it's a little weird. But this ain't about that, guys. It's about how I'm using my points and how, I, how I'm going to be strategizing my membership boards points. So... Let's just think about it, okay? So what are membership awards points good for, right? What have I been doing with them? What am I planning on doing? Let's talk about it. So I actually made my first redemption with membership awards points. Kind of weird, I know. It seems like I was gonna be using them a lot more than I actually anticipated. Uh, they're talked about a lot online. I thought I was gonna be able to use them. I'm kind of a viewer too. I don't know if you guys watch a lot of other channels and stuff. I love watching them too. It's really interesting. Uh, uh, uh entertaining. But membership awards points is something I haven't really used a lot. Um, but here's the thing. I did one really big redemption. I'm talking hundreds of thousands of membership awards points in one single redemption. I don't know if it was a good one. Actually, I do know. I have the Semper Point value. It's going to be right on the screen here. I'll show you the math. Take a look. I booked an Emirates business class flight from New York City to Milan for this trip that I'm taking in business class. Wait, I already said that. But dude, Emirates business class? That's going to be pretty sick. And I know it's not like a big you know, here's the thing. It's not like a favorable redemption. Like it's not the best sensor point. It's like 87,500 points. I'm pretty sure for each seat. And I booked two of them. You know, I got, I have a girlfriend apparently. <laughs> and honestly, that's pretty much all I've done with my membership awards points. Literally one Emirates business class seat. I think it's fine. You know, it's not the best redemption out there. I think honestly, I I'd actually just don't worry about sensor point as much. And it is possibly because I have a lot of membership awards points from these big sign up bonuses and the referrals too. But, you know, it's not really worth stressing so hard if, if you're gonna get the experience that you really want, right? Like, I'm kind of willing to pay for Emirates and especially the A380 business class because I just kind of freaking like planes too, dude. And eventually we're not gonna be able to fly on the A380. I wanna be on a double-decker, okay? I really wanna see what it looks like. I wanna feel that fake wood grain or whatever they got in there. I wanna get that customer service that Emirates has. I just wanna feel it. I wanna taste it. I wanna experience it. And unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to take a shower like some of them, like in first class and stuff. But business class is good enough for me. And honestly, it's a crazy experience, okay? So I'm fine with that. And that's kind of what I'm doing with my membership awards points. But that's kind of it. I really don't know what else I'm going to be doing with them other than saving them up. I still have a frick ton of them. I don't think I'm going to get any more Amex cards for now. I'm trying to stay under 524 for that reason I told you earlier. I need more ink points. Ink points? <laughs> But yeah, dude, the Amex Gold, the Amex Platinum, I'm chugging along. But let me tell you, those monthly credits are something else. I did get a retention offer though. Hold up, I forgot to tell you that. I got a retention offer on the Amex Gold. It is my year anniversary, one year, yes. I went ahead and I got that retention offer. I don't know if I told you last video, it's not a lot. I think the common retention offer for the Amex cards right now, specifically the Gold, is 10,000 membership awards points. I've used to spend two grand in three months. So I've been kind of trying to use the card as my catch-all. I keep forgetting for some reason, but I've kind of been using it as my catch-all right now, trying to you know hit that little 10,000 membership awards points sign-up bonus, somehow re re retention bonus. And it's kind of nice, I guess. But other than that, the credits are a little annoying. I mean, I use them, mm, I try to use them. <sighs> I know, it's frustrating. We're gonna talk about that in a soon in a different video, but yeah, I'm plugging along. I don't wanna cancel it, I, I really don't. We're gonna, we're gonna talk about that, I promise, really soon, okay? But next, no, let's talk about something else. And I guess if we wanna talk about something else, it's gonna be Capital One, because Capital One's this weird middle child thing that I have, and I, I just don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do with the Venture X. I use it as like my girlfriend card. <laughs> I have an authorized user on there. She gets it for free. She can use Priority Pass if you really care. Dude, Priority Pass is so freaking not good anymore. 
anymore. Honestly, you just can never get in in my experience. And honestly, I got these other cards with priority pass. Honestly, I should just get her another credit card, something that's pretty good for herself and just not worry about the authorized user and stuff like that. 2X back catch all is nice. I've been slowly racking up points that I might use. But since Turkish Airlines kind of freaking screwed me, I mean, honestly, let's talk about that now because it's pretty important. So if you do like flying United, there is this magical thing called Turkish Airlines. Yeah, it's nice. And if you find the saver award with, with the United, you can basically book Turkish Airlines miles and smiles for 10,000 miles each way. So transfer to Turkish Airlines from City or Capital One. I've been doing Capital One. It's just because I only have Capital One. City could be cool, though. I don't know. We'll figure that out later. But the thing is, is like, I just can't beat that 1.5 cents per point chase redemption that I've been doing with the ink, with the freaking Sapphire Prefer. Oh God. So, I mean, I haven't really used a lot of my points from freaking Capital One recent, recently, you know, I've been thinking about what I'm going to do with them and what I'm going to, what am I going to do with the card? And I mean, I got to pay $395 and, uh, you know, annual fees are nice, but, and the thing about annual fees, like the $395 on the Capital One Venture X is, is it's nice. Okay. But you're kind of just prepaying for stuff. And if I can kind of get my travel for free, why do I need to pay $400 for a card that I don't even use a card? It's nice. I use it. I keep it it's annual fee neutral, but I don't really care for it as much. Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to be a dramatic guy. Say I'm going to cancel it and then keep it and then cancel. You know, not, we're not going to play that game here. I want to give you guys a little break on all that stuff. So I don't know. Capital one hit or miss here. I'm mostly focusing on chase. I guess to wrap it up, chase is king, of course. And if you think chase is king, subscribe. If not hit the like button for Amex. I think I'm going to go now. Um, video is not too long. So, all right. See ya. Bye.